In Smoketown, Louisville's oldest black neighborhood, residents share experiences of being displaced. I know the pain of being forced out of my community. Stacia May knows firsthand the struggles many face in the community due to the city's shortage of 30,000 affordable housing units. Unfortunately, I have yet to find a place that can we can afford. So for now, my daughter and I are separated and I live in my car. Mm. That ain't that right. That ain't right. right. That ain't Right. And residents aren't the only ones. Local business owners worry they'll soon have to relocate as well. Without this ordinance, the people are allowed to come in and do what they want to do. And that's not fair to the smoke towners. A new historically black neighborhood ordinance hopes to be that security measure by preventing public resources like money and land from going to corporate development projects, create pathways for residents to access city programs for housing and businesses, and restore land wrongfully taken from black families. Sponsor of the ordinance, Metro Councilman Jacory Arthur, says the effort stems from a 2019 housing assessment published by the city. It found that because investors targeted lower income areas, local government must step in. The urgency to prioritize the implementation of anti-displacement initiatives in these areas cannot be overstated. The campaign for the ordinance launched a month ago, and already organizers say hundreds of residents and businesses across Jefferson County have signed on the dotted line in support of it. Just in the last 30 days, we have supporters in 25 out of the 26 districts. Yeah. The ordinance is still in the beginning stages, but organizers say they'll continue chanting. Residents need to be respected. Residents need to be respected. Raising signs and using their power to protect their communities. You will not displace us. You will not erase us. And as long as there's injustice in Louisville, mm. yes. you have to face us. Yes. Yes. From Smoketown, Alexis Matthews, WOKY News.